Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to another Octane and Blender tutorial. Um, today I'm going to show you how to do a quick, easy, uh, like infinite floor, white room in Blender and Octane. So check this out. So I have a simple scene. I've got a metal material and I have nothing on this ground plane. And I have an HDRI in the background. So this is all I have. So say I want to show off this metal material. I get my camera, position it how I want say yeah there we go beautiful right uh, not really i don't really want to see all this so you go in and oops not there duh alpha channel i go okay i'll composite something in the background well now i need something for my floor well not really because if you remember from our first video i think i showed this in my first video grab a diffuse material plug it in there and do your shadow catcher all right well here we go um, you just need to composite in the background uh, in like Photoshop or something for an infinite white room but if you don't have Photoshop or you just want it done in one render go up to your world uh, delete this this is from cycle still boom move this up here and if you look you have octane environment you have octane visible environment so i want my hdri to give me lighting and reflections so i'm going to say i want this to have environment reflections and then i'm going to duplicate this at a rgb spectrum plug it in here Put that in my visible environment uncheck this and do visible on backplate all right and if you don't see anything happen turn off your alpha channel so check this out now you can have whatever you want you've got a little infinite room with your shadow cast and then what you can do is you can go up and you can change your HDRI to say, oh, whoa, all right, see how it is. This one. And I'm gonna add in a full transform, plug that in here, shift and click my X value, I'm gonna drag that around. So now I have my lighting and my reflections for my HDRI, but I can have the floor whatever color I want. So kind of cool for like an Instagram post, stuff like that, um, Facebook post, or just previewing a material, previewing a model. Um, this metal isn't that cool, honestly. I'd probably grab something a little better if I was oh man All right, I gotta stop rendering turn that back on let's get Suzanne this way put her on the ground there we go and my camera at her smooth her out and then what we'll do is go to this object new glossy let's make her uh what color do we make our floor i don't remember that all right so we'll make her blue and then if we want to do metal which you can do a fake metal just change your index to one or change your index to like eight uh, make this diffuse nothing actually Grab an RGB spectrum, put it in your specular, and yeah. Oh wow, that didn't work at all, did it? There. Yeah, make that black. I was right the first time. This was the old way we had to make metal before we had the uh, metallic shader. So you guys are lucky. Yeah, super cool. So make this any color you want. Go back into your HDRI environment, rotate your environment around. 
change it, change your floor. That's so cool. So yeah, fun little quick tip. Uh, play around. Let me know if you guys have any questions, and I will see you in the next tutorial. Thanks for watching.